All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with Manager Bob Black. Thomas Harding, why don't you start us off? Hey, buddy. Uh, first of all, today was this um, just a case of them pitching you guys well? You had some opportunities and didn't get the, didn't get the beat. Yeah, we had a couple shots, uh, you know, couldn't deliver today uh, as we have uh, on this road trip. Uh, their, their starter uh, had an assortment of off-speed pitches and, and threw his high fastball uh, at the right height of the zone to Media. Here are the final pitching line fastball. But, uh, you know, we just couldn't solve their pitching. A couple big arms at the end uh, we couldn't get to. Uh, you know, you, you they got us out today. They did. And uh, what did you kind of look at the uh, this week? Uh, you've got the Giant, Dodgers and the Giants coming in. And you can play a role in the National League West, especially coming off of a very good road trip. I mean, do you look at as kind of some motivation here uh, for, for the guys? We, we look at it, like I've said, uh, the last month when I've been asked that question about our uh, role in, uh, you know, baseball. I think there's uh, integrity to the 162 games. It uh, doesn't matter whether it's game one or uh, where we are now game-wise. And as we finish up, uh, you know, all eyes will be uh, on – uh, a lot of baseball games moving forward in the next couple of weeks, and and we're uh, and we're one of the teams that will uh, will be playing against the Dodgers and Giants, and baseball will be watching. Our guys are aware of that. Uh, I think they're uh, you know looking forward to uh, you know being in that in that moment of of being watched. So, uh, and we're going to continue to play our game. Uh, we're going to continue to help grow our young players. Uh, it's a great experience for them. Uh, we talked about it on this road trip against the Phillies and Braves, uh, what that meant, uh, you know, to the National League East and the wild card. Uh, no, no change this week about, about our expectation of what we want to do to win baseball games. And, John, today, I mean, um, obviously just two runs, high pitch count there early. Um, how much of it was maybe – not quite hit, being sharp or hitting spots and how much of it was. So the, um, the, you know, it, it seemed to me he got ahead a lot in the count today, uh, 2 one two, and had a hard time just finishing got, finishing off the hitters early in the count. Uh, they ran some deeper counts. They got some base hits. I mean, only got three hits, but, uh, you know, the, the pitch count rose, I think, because of, you know, some foul balls and, and deeper counts, uh, you know, just didn't put guys away. Uh, when he was ahead in the count, uh, and that's part of, you know, competitive baseball. Um, you know, and sort of baseball got him, the National League got him a little bit today. You know, it was a you know, tough call. I didn't know how many more chances we were going to get to score. Uh, you know, John was at 70 pitches. Uh, he very easily could have went two more innings, but uh, we decided to take a shot with Rio in the fifth with two guys on. Uh, we get a base hit there or a double, probably tie game. Uh, so anyway, John, uh, you know, was a circumstance of National League baseball and us being behind in the middle part of the game. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Nick. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Um, you you played the full spectrum of teams on this road trip, um, a playoff team and a, and a chasing team and a team that's out of it. You did really well on this trip overall, uh, despite today. What specifically right. went real well on this road trip? I think overall it was a collection of all three facets of the, of the game. Uh, Nick, I thought the starting pitching was, you know, real solid. Uh, there was a couple uh, that fell short, you know, Feltner's game uh, in Philadelphia, Marquez's game here, but we came back and won that one. I thought the starting pitching was pretty sound. I thought the bullpen was good, too. Uh, you look at, uh, you know, all the guys who pitched uh, on this trip out of our bullpen, they all pitched pretty well, uh, kept us in games or did their job, put up a zero. Uh, you know, Carlos... Uh, you know, Carlos had, uh, you know, Carlos had a, a number of saves. Uh, Kinley threw well. You can go down the line of our relievers. And offensively, uh, we swung the bats better. You know, I think the last couple of road trips have been better as far as our offense. Uh, you know, I thought Brendan, uh, you know, hit the ball well. I thought Crone had some good games. Trevor hit some homers. Uh, you know, we had contributions from a number of guys. But I think all three facets, Nick, uh, we hit better. Uh, bullpen sort of stabilized and our starting pitching overall through the 10 games was pretty good. You know, if this, if this run had happened, um, 
you know, two months ago, we might we might say, well, it's a nice streak. It's a good streak. Sure. Uh, but in September, it almost feels like I'm, does, is this more is this a good streak or is this the team like reaching sort of crescendoing into who they really well, are? Well, I think that uh, you'd like to you'd like to think that that guys are growing, you know, Hampson and Rogers and, you know, Sam had a couple big hits. Uh, you know, it was good to see Welker uh, get his first uh, couple knocks. Uh, you know, you know, Diaz uh, has continued his second half uh, surge. Uh, that was good to see. Um, you know, I, I would like to think that our guys are are learning and growing, but it's you know, it's it's baby steps. It's not we haven't seen huge leaps. I think you could maybe make a case for Rogers making probably the biggest leap this year and what he's done from you know two previous years uh, getting to the big leagues or his two previous stints, uh, but. You know, overall, uh, you know, we'd like to think we're more this team, you know, this second half than we were the team the first half. Got I'd it. rather have it this way than the other way. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Patrick? Hey, buddy. To, to follow up on, on Nick just a little bit, um, it's going to be a different team next year. We don't know what it's going to look like yet, of course. But right. – You've talked a lot this season about the learning experience of the lesser service time guys. Can the way they have produced on the road lately, can that, you know, work for next year? Or do you think it's completely a new slate next year and you start from scratch? Well, I do think it's a new slate uh, and you do start from scratch. Uh, and I do agree uh, you know, this team will look a little different next year, but every team does. Uh, Patrick, you look at, uh, you know, you look at the, the, the Dodgers uh, who won the World Series last year. Look at their team now. Scherzer, Trey Turner, Pujols, uh, you know, down the line of some, you know, Billy McKinney. I mean, they got, they got new players. You know, they, they, got, they got a different group. Uh, and we'll have somewhat of a different group. Uh, look at the Giants uh, from a year ago, different group. So uh, it's natural to have change. Uh, I would like to think that, uh, you know, the first half numbers offensively on the road uh, will not show up again next year. Those were not good. Uh, I'd like to think that, you know, what we've done here in the second half offensively on the road, is, even though, uh, you know, haven't, we haven't beat the world down, it's been much better and much improved. So we got to, we got to, continue to turn the, the road numbers from a lot of guys who've had tough road seasons. we got to improve on that. Uh, but I like the fact that they're going through it. They're gaining experience every day. Uh, they know what's ahead of them. Uh, we've talked about it endlessly over, you know, this year about the expectation, you know, both physically and mentally about home and road. Uh, our guys are starting to, you know, to understand that. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are. But again, like I told Nick, I'd rather have what's going on now uh, this time of year uh, than reverse. And from my vantage point uh, as a baseball writer and a fan, I'm really looking forward to this coming week with the Dodgers and Giants coming into Coors. Is it too much to say that this is almost the Rockies playoff season, those six games next week at Coors, because there's a lot at stake well, for yeah. you, but certainly for right. the other teams. Well, again, I, you know, that's what I love about, uh, you know, baseball. There's, there's such a strong integrity to, you know, to play to win uh, every night because I've, uh, as a player, uh, a coach, a manager uh, in this game, you know, for you know, over 40 years, other teams are watching and other teams care uh, greatly about what's going on outside of their own ballpark because it impacts them. And our guys are aware of that. Our coaching staff, our training staff, our, our strength and conditioning guys, we all know, uh, you know, what this means as far as uh, baseball's integrity. And I love that part. And I think that's the, you know, not only affects us, but I think all, all 30 teams feel that way. All professional players, uh, you know, 800 plus. So uh, I think that's, you know, part of what makes our game great. Thanks, buddy. Okay.
Okay. We'll go to a couple more, buddy, really quick. Uh, Dwayne and Todd. Uh, Dwayne, go ahead. Hey, buddy. I kind of follow up a little bit on what uh, Patrick was talking about. Uh, you had several new faces in the lineup here on this road trip that uh, made big contributions to help you uh, win games. Um, how pleasing was it uh, from your vantage point to see these uh, players uh, come aboard and, and make uh, contributions uh, you know, immediately after having been called up to the, to the big leagues? Well, uh, again, I thought, you know, I thought Welker had a nice couple of nice games in Philadelphia. You know, he's getting some exposure. Uh, if you're talking about Ryan Belayed, you know, he played a, a full game yesterday in, in his major league debut, five at bats. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get his first big league hit, but uh, he, he showed some, uh, you know, some poise uh, in his first game and his at bats. Uh, you know, a couple of the young pitchers, uh, Gilbreth, Sheffield, Sheffield again today, put up a zero. Uh, he's done some nice work. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Julian Fernandez, uh, you know, in a while, but, you know, that's part of having an extended bullpen and it's part of winning games. You know, you're going with the guys that are, are more proven. <clears throat> you know, even Ryan Feltner got into a couple games, uh, you know, here, uh, you know, that, you uh, you know, got him going a little bit in September. So, you know, experience is the best teacher you can have. You know, you, you can get, uh, you know, tremendous coaching. Uh, you can get uh, a lot of feedback through through data and scouting reports, but until you're between the lines, uh, that is always the best teacher. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for these guys to go, to go through this uh, experience because they'll, they'll be better off for it in the long run.